is going on YouTube? My name is Nick and welcome back to another video. This is my first video of 2021 of the last video I recorded last year and just didn't upload it upload it when I wanted to, wanted it to. So with that aside, this video is my 2021 goals. And I have four different categories uh, broken down here. Oh, I've got family, school, running, and YouTube. And this, these goals were in uh, writing down. I, and I actually wrote down my goals this year. I was inspired uh, by Nick Simmons, who writes down his goals every year, and he wrote down his goals for this year. And I broke them down into categories similarly to his to how to his goals. But my goals are completely different, obviously. But yeah, let's jump right into it. So here is my goal sheet. This is what it looks like. And I have a do it section and a reach section. The do it section I definitely want to achieve this year. Like I'm going to try my darndest to achieve it. And the reach goals, if I achieve them, great. But I probably won't achieve them. I'm writing them down as like long-term goals for the future, like beyond this year. Uh, so for family, I wrote down two dates, 8-7, August 7th, or 8 dash yeah, 8-7 and 8-6, so August 6th and 7th, and the reason being is because, t sorry about that, I was interrupted by a phone call, but anyways, I wrote down two dates, August 6th and August 7th, and the reason being is because two of my cousins are getting married, uh, my cousin, my cousin um, Richie is getting married on August 6th, and my cousin Rachel is getting married on August 7th. And I definitely want to attend these weddings no matter what happens this year. I'm very excited for my cousins to marry their their fiancés and their... Yeah, very, we're very excited for them to marry yeah, their fiancés. That, that will be very cool. And I'm also excited because I haven't been to a wedding since I was five years old. So really looking forward to um, Richie, Richie and Rachel's weddings. Uh, for my school goals, I've got quite a few goals for school this year. Uh, the first one being I'm going to study 15 minutes every day for all five of my my classes. Uh, this this will just keep me more on track, uh, more on track with the material, and it will help me learn better. I feel like it's just incorporate, and I will incorporate the study strategies I have learned in the past uh, by by doing it this way. And my second goal kind of dovetails off of off of this goal, and it is to to obtain a 3.5 GPA for the for this upcoming spring semester and the fall semester. So this upcoming spring, I, it will be my second semester of junior year. So I'll be finishing up junior year this year and starting senior year. So I really need to get good grades because. They will look good on my. They will look good on my transcripts, and will hopefully, will def, will hopefully help me get into grad school in the future. Uh, and now my other goal. This is kind of a reach because I don't. I don't think I'm going to be able to figure, figure this out yet. But I'm going to pinpoint some career options, and a step I'm taking to do this is I'm going to is I'm going to set up a meeting with my advisor sometime later this month. Uh, once I go back to school, so I go back in a couple weeks to school in a couple weeks. I'll set up the meeting then, uh, for when I go back. So yeah, that is that goal is kind of, that goal is a reach, like I said, but I definitely think I can obtain this goal d later down the road. But I definitely don't I definitely don't expect it to achieve it this year. But it's still a good idea to write reach goals because because it's it's good to shoot for the stars. So that that takes care of my school goals. And now for running, I have some big goals for this year. Uh, the first goal. It involves planning a cross-country training weekend up north at my parents' lake place. Um, I'm planning to do this sometime in August, and I'm hoping to invite like 10 guys from the team, I'm thinking. So it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully everybody can make it. We can pick a date or pick pick some dates in August. Oh, I'm thinking some weekend in the middle of August that is, that everyone's available. And I'm going to start talking to the guys about this once um, track starts up. So, yeah, that's very exciting. Looking forward to that. That will happen. I, I'm going to make that happen. 
Uh, my next goal is to break 26 minutes in the 8K in cross country. Crossing my fingers, there'll be an XC season in the fall. I'm fairly confident that there will be a season and the pandemic should be should slow down, be slow, be the pandemic should be over by then. I hope, I mean, may not be, but I really hope so. Um, and if the pandemic is not over, I'm going to go and run an 8k for fun and break 26. So yeah. And if there is a, and my other, my other goal going along with this is to be a scoring member on the cross country team. And that means to be in the top five on the team. I definitely think that is doable. I've done it in the past. I think I could do it again. Um, and then my reach goals. Uh, my reach is to run an outdoor track season. Now, the reason this is a reach is because I believe the pandemic will still be going on. And uh, uh, Whitewater might not be able to secure tests. But I definitely think out of all my reach goals, this is probably the most achievable to have an outdoor season. Um, and then my other reach goal is to help the cross-country team qualify for nationals. This one definitely think it's achievable, but it is also a reach because the WEAC conference, the conference that my school is in, is very tough. But I still think we, I still think we have a shot at it this year. We've got a lot of good athletes coming in, and I'm, again, crossing my fingers that everybody stays healthy. Um, and then for my YouTube goals, my number one goal for YouTube this year, my main, pretty much my only goal that I want to achieve. Um, is to upload weekly. Yes, I want to upload weekly, at least once a week. I think it's doable. I just I need to budget my time better. And uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think I can upload weekly. And my plan is I don't know if this is going to happen for sure or not, but my plan is to do an NBA, uh, um, an NBA two K series. Um, I'll let you guys know if that's happening or not, but I would like to do that. So, yeah, that's uh, my plan is to upload weekly. I'm going to keep the podcast rolling and hopefully get that 2K series up. And my last goal, this is a big reach for me because I gain subscribers very slowly, uh, is to achieve 1,000 subscribers. Um, if I'm more consistent this year, I feel like I could achieve 1,000 subscribers in the next couple years. But who knows? I could maybe achieve it this year. And, yeah, if I'm more consistent, uploading weekly... Could gain subscriber. I could gain subscribers a lot faster. So these are my 2021 20, goals, and I'm going to hang them up on my closet so I remember. Can so I can remember these goals and look at them every day. And if I'm down and need a reminder of what my goals are for the year, or just need some extra motivation, I can look at these goals. So yeah, that is it for this video from me. Um, Leave your goal, leave your goals for the year down in the comments. I'd be interested to see what everybody's goals are for this year. And I'm looking forward to a very, very eventful year. It certainly is going to be eventful, still with the pandemic going on. And hopefully we will get through it. And we will get through the pandemic. And I will be able to achieve these goals despite whatever is thrown at me this year. So, yeah, once again, my name is Nick. And I am signing off. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. I have one more goal to add, and it is a work-related goal. Um, so my job is I work as a residential counselor at a group home, and I work with adults ages uh, ranging in age from 22 all the way up to age 55. And they have what is called prater willi syndrome. Uh, which in layman's terms means that they're always hungry, constantly hungry all the time, and they cannot control their hunger. And prater willi syndrome is caused by chromosome 15. And my goal as a residential counselor at prater willi Homes is to get MED certified. And what that means is I will be able to pass the residents that I work with their medications and also do wound care and any other medical care that they that I learn how to do and this will involve me actually doing med observations which I've already done and then I actually got to do observed med passes and then um, I'm on my own for the for the last med pass so there's six observed med passes I need to do 
And then the seventh one, the nurse comes and watches me pass meds and I can be med certified if she signs off. So that is that well that will officially wrap up my goals. I'm signing off.